Okay. New profile. Single player. We're allowed one. The whores. Oh, sorry, two. Seabrog. And them. We'll pick it easy. Nocturnal Predator, Domain, Neutral, Nature, Magic. Okay. Looks very menacing, though. Drag and drop a trait here to select it. Craftsman and a warrior. Well, we'll just do not auto select it, it'll make it easy. Even scavenger. Child, um. Okay. Okay, I'll go with that one. Well, hello there, Chosen. Welcome to the service of the gods. Thank you. As I am a believer myself, I am happy to be the one to guide you. Okay. Ask who is exactly, um... Theodore's the name, but little old me is not relevant here. You are. I am here to tell you of some basic rules and hand over any divine objects that may have been bestowed upon you. First and foremost, the cosmic sea. Sounds hot. Yes, Thier is far from a land of prosperity. Darkness was defeated long ago, but it is not gone. It lurks in the corners and attacks at night. The shattering tears the earth asunder, and a scorching light takes hold of folk without protection. The seed, and others like it, is a gift of the divine. A piece of the cosmic tree itself. It can grant great boons, and it allows you to set up a village and provide divine protection there. But if you wish for the life of a traveler, or if you are skilled enough to create another seed one day, this seed can be used to forge divine artifacts, or even bring back a comrade from the clutches of death. Indeed. You'll catch on fast. Without the seed or different means that other factions may possess, the village attracts the cursed light and is taken by it within days. 
And if somehow that does not happen, terrors of darkness will drive your folk insane. This is how it has been in Thea for many centuries now. It is why we struggle still to survive just another day. I may pop up now and again to tell you things, but for now, you must take your first steps into this hostile land. Remember to check for resources on the map for gathering. Set up camp for craft and cooking, and check your inventory to make sure you are well equipped. Here, have some wood, so you may heal when camping. My advice is to Thank you. learn the ropes, and only then decide on a settlement. Thank him for the advice and leave. Okay. As you camp by the water, a flash flood rises unexpectedly. Try to find higher ground. Uh, you are close enough to hill to reach it in time, although you are drenched and tried to likely catch a cold. Okay. Okay. As tradition has it, your god sent me to guide your first steps on this new and bewildering island. To get us started, check what resources you have near you. There's a toggle right next to the mini-map. Is there a lag? All that. A back. Well, it doesn't quite tell me everything here. Let me see. Yeah, you actually are very right. Hold up. Is it the game doing it? Oh god, yeah, it's like 94%. Hold up. Yeah, because basically it's memory leaking at this point. Yeah, because it looks like what happened was the anti aliasing was on. V-Sync was on, and then Super Sampling, which was making everything, um, get turned hell up.
Should be fine now as I just looked at it. Yeah, I have it set to 30 frames per second, so now it should be good. But the game looks pretty good anyway. I mean, it's memory leaking a bit. So again, I am going to save it though, just for the safety of my computer. And I'm going to quit. Because as you can see by the game there, it's pretty good so far. Just I don't like the fact that it was literally shooting up to 94% usage, because that means then it's memory leaking. Because usually the most that games usually go up for on my computer are actually um, at least 70 something, which is like the, the optimal I like it to be. So I think the developers definitely need to get in there and scrub it to the point where it's not uh, going that high up in terms of uh, performance, because it's leaking like crazy. And that's the problem with Unity games half the time, it's like they just shoot up to the freaking moon. But there, that's going to be the video. <laughs> so I'm going to close that out. Yeah, see, now my computer's fine again. It was literally the game. Like, it was, like, lagging like crazy. Didn't notice it at first. How you doing, Don? We're going to be switching it up, though, to Winds of Change.